It was surely the greatest day in the history of Trinidad. All Port of Spain turned out in the intense heat to cheer Princess Margaret as Her Royal Highness slowly drove to the Red House to inaugurate the first federal legislature of the West Indies. Of all the thousands present along the route, only the princess herself appeared unaffected by the terrific heat. Over the Red House flew the Sun and Seas flag, adopted by the West Indies Federation. Inside, members of both houses and other persons of distinction assembled in honor of the royal visitor. Resplendent in a gown of white satin studded with ruby and sapphire stones, Princess Margaret read a message from the Queen to the new Federation. May the people of the West Indies indeed dwell together in unity. I pray the blessing of Almighty God may rest upon your deliberations. So did a new parliament join the Commonwealth Brotherhood of Freedom. A brave experiment brings self-government to a federation of widely separated countries. Tumultuous indeed was the reception when the princess appeared after the ceremony. As from the queen herself, messages of congratulation came from all over the world to the West Indies Federation.